Bryce, can you talk about what this matchup means to you? Um, it means a lot. Um, you know, you know, just playing against some familiar faces. You know, I, I played with them last year, so you know it's going to be a um, big game, um, emotional game. But you know, I just want to um, reinforce my t to my teammates that you know I'm playing for them and I'm playing to win. Um, I'm, I'm not looking at it as a revenge game. Um, I'm just trying to go out and put my team in the best position to win. Have you sort of embraced the emotion that's you know going to be there tomorrow? For sure. I mean, it's going to be a big game. It's a lot of hype around the game. But like I said, you know, I'm playing for my teammates, and I'm not trying to, you know, um, just showcase anything to Coach Kyle or um, Kentucky. I'm just want to go out and, like I said, put my team in the best position to win. Bryce, I saw your reaction when Kentucky and Providence both flashed up on that bracket. What was going through your head in that moment? Um, just, just you know, playing against my brothers again. You know, Jacob, pretty much the whole team, Oscar, you know, Damian, Lance, all of them, Xavier. You know, just seeing familiar faces and going up against them, you know, we were all – um, had a big bond last year, you know, just playing against against them again is going to be great. You and Jacob have both had totally different roles on the teams that you're on this year compared yeah. to what you all looked like last year. How do you think your game has changed and how do you think his game has changed since last year? Um, I would just say I'm playing with more freedom and, you know, Coach um, is giving me a lot of comp built my confidence back up coming um, to, to Providence. So, you know, that's pretty much the biggest thing, you know, just playing in the flow of the game and, you know, being able to play through a couple mistakes. What about for Jacob? Jacob, I see him. He's being more of a scorer and uh, more aggressive. So, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, I think I'm pretty much guarding him tomorrow. So, you know, I'm going to have to, you know, keep him on this and, you know, try to guard him and, you know, keep him off the glass. Jacob said he didn't waste any time getting into the group chat from last yeah. year's team. Was that like kind of hear from him right away? Um, it was nice. I mean, he, um, I, I'm pretty sure you've seen in the video, he said that JT and um, Bryce matchup is going to be tough. So, you know, it's going to be a fun matchup. You know, just playing against him is going to be fun. It was pretty much um, one of my best friends on the team last year. Have you talked to him? Um, I, I didn't get to see him out there, but um, I texted him a little bit. Yeah. Were you keeping up with Kentucky this season? Like as things were going on, you were keeping contact with those guys? For sure, I was um, watching some of their games and stuff. Have you been able to watch any of their games? Just when they, you've had a common off days or something like that? Yeah, I watch a lot of their games. Um, I watch them in the SEC tournament. Um, I watch a couple of their regular season um, tournament. I mean, regular season games as well too. What have your thoughts just kind of been on the year they've had? It's kind of been a little bit of a roller coaster. Yeah, I mean, they they still look good. Um, they're fast in transition. They rebound um, a lot. Um, Oscar's a great player. You got to keep them off the glass, and you know, they they're a really solid team. Have your teammates been coming to you asking a lot of questions this week? I mean, they have. Um, you know, me playing with them last year, they just want to know um, some insight. So you know, I, I tell them like pretty much like I've been saying. You know, they're fast in transition. Um, hell of a rebounding team. So you got to keep them off the glass and you know get back in transition. Um, I don't, I don't know how to answer that. I mean, Coach Cooley, he's he's cool, he's laid back. Um, so is Coach Caldo. I mean, they're two great coaches, and you know, I love playing for both of them.